Hey everyone, um, I'm Karam. I'm one of the co-founders of Dubba. Our mission is to bring the next billion users online to the internet. Uh, we've been an internet service provider for the last eight years. We used to power Google Wi-Fi. Uh, we helped draft a lot of the telecom policy relating to Wi-Fi in India. And I'm going to talk to you about why that's really important fairly soon. Uh, I'm here to share one really simple idea. Um, and it's one really quick thing. And I think it's a slightly interesting way of looking at the deep end landscape the way that it is at the moment. And that's to push the idea of a layer zero deep end. So I think a really helpful classification of how deep ends are at the moment is sort of in three layers, right? Right at the top, you've got deep end services that offer storage, compute, databases, and they're primarily software. One level below that, you've got hardware that plugs into other hardware, which is, say, for example, Helium, right? You buy Helium. Uh, hotspot, but you've got to plug it into a broadband connection that's already there. You buy a hive mapper, but you already have to have a car to plug that into. So there's a lot of those. I want to propose the idea of a layer zero one, which is sort of foundational physical infrastructure in a place where that infrastructure doesn't exist, so that all of these other layers and projects can sit on top of them. Uh, Layer zero deepens a really strong concept because first thing is, of course, is they're primary and the foundational things sit on top of them. The second thing is it's really useful that they are foundational because that means that they are resilient and long lived. A very practical example is if you build a highway in a place where there is no highway before, it's going to take at least, you know, a couple of decades before that highway degrades in any way. So infrastructure that is built for the first time lasts a long time. As a result of these two characteristics, the returns on layer zero deepens, things that are built as primary resources, are good and they provide long-term value. A uh, place to look for layer zero deepens, and these are up and coming. This is an entirely new concept, so it's going to take a while for them to roll out. But places to look are emerging markets. And this is fundamentally because these are markets where the kind of infrastructure for a helium or a hive mapper or that sort of thing doesn't really exist, right? One layer below has to be built. So you're going to see layer zero deepens being built out in emerging markets. And they'll cover areas like roads, water, energy, and of course, things like what we do, which is connectivity. So I want to give you a really practical example of what a layer zero deepen looks like in the real world. And I'm going to use us, Dapa, as an example of it. So we operate in India, and although India is amazing, it's massive economy, great adopter of crypto, it's got a ton of mobile internet connections. Like we have something like 800 million 4G and 5G connections, which is insane. But access to broadband, high-speed Wi-Fi is absolute garbage. If you look at that graph, that little line at the bottom that barely exists is where India stands in terms of broadband connectivity. And our role is to help change that. To give you a sense of scale, the US has about 150 million broadband connections. China has something like 700 million. India's only got 30 million of them. And we want to do something about that. So we've started this process. We've rolled out thousands of connections, thousands of hotspots. This is what our explorer looks like. You can see the connectivity that's there. Uh, we've connected tens of thousands of users. We have terabytes of data flowing through the system. And the thing to note in all of this is all of this is infrastructure that is paid for. Because the thing about layer zero deepens in emerging markets is you're bringing a crucial service to people that are willing to pay for it, right? It's not an exercise of build it and they will come. In fact, in a country like India, where there's an overwhelming amount of demand for data, we cannot build out our infrastructure as fast as we need to be able to do it. The way that we do this is India is going through this really interesting transition where traditionally we've had something like 150,000 tiny local cable operators, right? These guys are the ones responsible for distributing cable TV across the country. So picture the 20 to 40s male who's got a tiny satellite dish pointed at the sky when a couple of hundred subscribers that he's delivering cable TV to. 
but these people are going through a massive change because everybody has shifted to streaming services, right? Nobody wants cable TV anymore. So all 150,000 of these operators, which serve hundreds of millions of cable customers, now need to transition into becoming internet service providers because that's what their customers want. So we're helping them change their infrastructure from cable to fiber optic. And the way that really works is anyone anywhere in the world buys a hotspot and some connectivity hardware. We deliver that to a local cable operator in India who then installs that broadband connection in a paying customer's home or office. The person that bought the hotspot gets DABA tokens as a reward. And the way the value accrues to the whole system is we take the paying revenue from the customer and we use it to buy and burn DABA tokens. So it's a fairly simple system. We think that this is what sort of true deepens look like. They serve demand rather than building out supply. They do it in places that are needed the most and they provide rewards and returns to people that help create that infrastructure in the first place. Um, if you have the chance, please take the time to scan the QR code. We've got amazing campaigns on Zeely. Uh, we're doing epic things with Drip House. There's a whole bunch of activities that we're doing to build out awareness and help people get involved in this process of building deep ends that actually deliver valuable things and hopefully get rewarded in return. So if you scan this QR code, you're going to definitely find significant alpha that will pay off at a long period of time. That's about it. Thanks so much.